Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of my Jackson Wing Through the Years series. Today is all about Magic Man. So I am already a fan of Jackson, you know, um, this is a special series along with a couple others on the channel. It's just dedicated to my favorites artists that i'm already a fan of even before i started checking out other artists i'm i was already a fan of jackson's music i got to know jackson first then got seven through the channel but i've always been a fan of his music so um everything every discussion that i'm having throughout the series is just a way for me to you know talk with other fan of his and just see how everyone feels about his discography and also you know wish that one lonely soul on the channel that likes another group may stumble upon the video listen to a jackson song by way of those videos and go and be addicted to jackson's music that's my ultimate goal even if i just get to have one more person to listen to his music i feel like i've done my job you know is so amazing everybody deserves to have jackson in their playlist um what i love about this album is just how great it is and just how much you can see just how he has grown so much in terms of his creativity. The very first time I feel like I gagged, where I was like, oh my God, I cannot. With Jackson was with the 100 Ways music video. I felt like when 100 Ways came out, it really just put his everything into those visuals it was amazing like the song the album was amazing the visuals were insane you know and just the story being told the choreography the way it is filmed and how pretty the colors are so good but that is nothing and i mean nothing compared to what i did with this album with magic man he went even further with the craziness, with the visuals, with the craziness, with the production on the album. And once this came out, I was like, okay, before I go and be destroyed by the visuals, let me go and check out the album. I listened to the album and it was so hard for me to pick out favorite. Well, now I've listened to it so many times that I obviously now have my go-tos. But earlier on, it was so hard for me to even pinpoint one song that I loved more than the others. And then the singles started coming out and I was like, oh my God. He did it again. For me, Jackson is one of a kind. You know, he really has pushed his heart so far that he created a lane of his own. His music is so good. The visual aspect of his everything is so amazing. Seeing him perform is something else. And for me, is one of those artists that you absolutely have to see live. Like, I would save if Jackson w w was coming to where I was staying, you know, or if I could go to where he's having a concert. I don't even mind spending five, six times and go to different places to listen or experience a Jackson concert because it is, it is worth it. You know, it makes everything an experience. Listening to the album is an experience. Watching the visuals is an experience. Actually being in a concert is an experience. And I love the fact that even though the music videos are so polished, they're still so raw, so grungy, and he's not above just making things like kind of rough around the edges with the visuals, you know. Because when you think about it, 100 ways, I, I will talk about it a lot because, like I said, that's the first time where I gagged when it came to like the visuals you know titanic is cool but it was something that was done before i'm talking about the visuals you know um 
it, it was cool, but it was something that was done before. But with 100 Ways, he really went out there with like the visuals and everything. But when you think about the visual for 100 Ways, it's like very polished, very pretty, you know, and in the story, in how it is shot, in the colors. And then the single for Magic Man, it actually just, it just got rougher and rougher because by the, like all the songs and the singles that went out, you will just see him really explore with like what he will go with the it, it, this one gave me the greatest showman with his music videos you know you know the vibe of the movies and the songs and everything you know it's just so pretty but pretty disturbing and i love that he went there with the visuals and i just love how when you listen to this album there is no way you can listen to this and listen to it, it only once. Like, you have to have this album on repeat. It is amazing. You know, he's in his bag with the singing, Um, you know, with... I, I am personally a huge fan of his singing more than his rapping. But I love the fact that, you know, he plays around with that versatility with this album even more so. You know, it's very diverse. The choruses are so catchy and the album is just so great. And for me right now, this is top of the line. And I can't even begin to imagine how is going to top this project because it's going to be a tough, tough task because it took it there. You know, um, at the beginning, I was saying that um, even though I love all of the songs, I definitely have my favorites in the project. So I have a top four in this album. Number four is Come Alive.
I love this song, like the beat. Oh, there's something so rough about it, but it's still so pretty. And it does that the entire album. It's like pretty vocal with like this rough, grungy type of beat. And I just love that. Now, number three is dopamine. Lately I'm so caught up in the moment, I know There's so much in my head, can put it down, I know Too much on my chest, shoulders tight Getting every turn on the light I need a little smooth and not the rough I would relieve I wanna feel your touch, I would release A little something in the cup Came here to get some dopamine song oh so good you know this one i love to listen to like um on a drive you know at the end of the day there's something so relaxing about the song now number two is blow it tastes like cigarettes
this song is way too short. It's so good. Um, my favorite part is the chorus, the um, twinkle twinkle part, and then oh, I love it when he sings in a higher register, especially in the song. Wow, it just just takes the song to a whole new place. So before I talk about my number one, like. I just want to say it's so interesting to me how even with my friends that are also fans of Jackson, when it comes to Magic Man, we can never agree on the order of the songs. So I'm super excited to check out the comments and see how everybody like put the song What's Everyone Top 3 because with all of my friends, almost 10 of them, nobody nobody agrees on the one two three we may have songs like we all like have in our favorite list but when it comes to the one two three order nobody agrees and it's so interesting to me and also a testament on how great this album is because honestly even songs that are not part of my top four they're so good that I could see how um for example a song like just like magic could be somebody's number one because he did something amazing in each and every of those songs so i just want to ask everyone to let me know in the comments what their one two three is so that i can see how many people um just receive those songs the same as me and like what's everyone or like favorites in the album i'm very curious about that now the star of the album is for me anyway Drive it like you stole it. The cigarettes burn me loose. I call in the room. A girl in a red dress sees me. A girl in a red dress rooms. And I'm not done at night. And what do you make of it? And I got a little wreck of it. Parked outside with your name. The cigarettes fill your lungs. And this place is getting slow. It look like you need somewhere to love It look like you need somewhere to go I'm looking for a time And do you the case that hold up Girl, if I let you drive it
what an interesting <laughs> song, um, title and chorus. Every time I sing to it, I'm both so into the song, but also feel silly at the same time. <laughs> There's something about that line that just always takes me out. But I love this song so much. And for me, that's the best one in the album. So let me know in the comments how you felt about the album. For me, that's the best it's ever put out and I cannot wait for the next project. You know, if you want more, check out his dedicated playlist on the channel. And if you in the mood for, for some God 7, there's one channel for them as well. Well, <laughs> one playlist, whatever, same channel. That's it for me today. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, or subscribe.